Hi team. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Azure Files and why to avoid using it in a Boomi environment for the foreseeable future. Um, Azure Files is basically a storage device that allows you to manage files from a cloud, you know, the Azure cloud environment from one or more virtual machines over either the SMB protocol if you're using Windows nodes or NFS if you're using Linux. Um, we have seen instances, specifically when using NFS, um, where files um, are not necessarily being synced correctly across two or more virtual machines. So to kind of just illustrate this um, in a very simple manner, um, in a Boomi environment where you have a JVM or a Java virtual machine running on two different virtual machines, um, could be a molecule configuration, could be a cloud configuration, could be a Kubernetes configuration. Um, what we have seen recently typically happen, particularly in the scenario when you will be updating your environment extensions, is the head node will get the message to update the extensions and write a temporary file, write the new values to it, and then rename it to overrides.xml, and this file lives on the file share. If this file share is implemented using Azure files, the problem comes in when the head node tells the child nodes to go read the new values. The child nodes don't see the new overrides.xml file sometimes. Um, and while there is no error currently in the container logs when this occurs, I will note there's an enhancement uh, in, in works to, uh, to log this scenario. So if you look at a more detailed strace output, um, which the Linux operating system allows you to see, on the child node, we see um, typically here, when it goes to access the file, it gets a error indicating the file or directory, in this case it's a file, does not exist. And that continues for a random period of time, and then sometimes it sees it again. Um, so at this time, we would recommend you use NetApp's storage devices on Azure, as we have not been able to, we have not seen the problem, nor can we reproduce the problem. Um, and we continue to investigate the root cause of this issue. Um, but for now, we would say stick with uh, NetApp's as your file store device on Azure and avoid using Azure files. Thanks. Happy uh, integrating. Um, thanks for your time and uh, good luck. Talk to you all soon. Bye.